It is time to get creative with the kids and have some fun. So we've brought back our friends from Mad Science. Jolting Jonathan joins us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It's good to see you. Hey, it's great to see you. You always bring the fun. And in fact, you've brought a lot of fun stuff in front of you. What's the experiment we're tackling today? Today's experiment is we're going to be making a cloud in a bottle. And we can actually we can try this at home. This is one of the ones you can do at home. Well, the first part. Okay. All you, oh, yeah, so, all so you what really do we need? need? First off, tiny humans, you need a grown-up. Yeah. You have to have a grown-up because we're going to have a bottle, a small bottle, just a one-liter bottle. Uh, make sure it's got a lid for it. And this is why you need a grown-up, is you are going to need a match and a little bit of water. So only do this with a grown-up's help. And all we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of water and put it in the bottom of our bottle, just enough to cover the bottom. And then we're going to take that match. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers because I want to get this match really down in there. Okay. And I'm not actually trying to heat my bottle up. I'm just trying to get a little bit of smoke. I'm going to shake my match out. And I want that smoke that's forming. That smoke that's forming is actually going to give us something. I'm not going to come up here so you can see it. Give us something called the nucleation point. And that nucleation point, when we get a cloud, the cloud, actually, all that water is going to grab on to my cloud. So we've got, when we squeeze it, it goes, I think we might have a little bit too much. That is so cool. But look at how we've filled that entire bottle with that cloud. We do. We definitely have a cloud. But I want to try this in a much bigger way. So I'm going to set this okay. here. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to try this in a big way to really show you what's happening. When we have a cloud, what we're actually getting is we're getting that water vapor. So I'm going to take a little bit of water, just enough to fill the bottle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a much bigger match. Do we ever try this at home? No. Let, let mad okay. scientists or grown-ups do this. <laughs> And I just want that smoke, because that smoke gives that water, when we have the cloud, somewhere to grab onto. It's what we call a nucleation point. And in nature, that nucleation point is usually dust or dirt or anything like that that's in the air. And then I need to add some water pressure. And my match is still burning a little bit. I want to make sure that's out. And we're just going to add some air pressure. And when we watch the news there on Channel 12, we hear them talking there in the weather about high pressure and low pressure. Right. What I'm doing now is I'm changing the pressure. I'm making it high pressure. When we have high pressure, we don't have clouds. But when we go to low pressure, that's when we get the clouds. So we don't have any cloud. No cloud, no cloud, no cloud, no cloud, no cloud. Nope, don't see it yet. Let's look at that. <gasps> we get that amazing cloud. Now to make the cloud go away, we just change the weather. We make it high pressure. And if you look, I change that pressure, my cloud goes away. This is so cloud? cool. All right. Michaela, for you, we're going to do one more cloud. You ready? Okay, yeah. Ah, it gets me every time. <laughs> All because we changed the air pressure. That is so cool. And hey, maybe now we're realizing what happens in the, the weather above us. Like you said, when our weathermen talk about and weather women talk about, uh, you know, the pressure, the high and the low, we see it for ourselves through this experiment. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you. That was so cool. So try it for yourself at home. Make sure you do the kid-friendly version with an adult Definitely do the supervising. Yeah, and have some fun with it. If you have some photos that you'd like to share with us, you can post them on our social media pages.